guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 35 of Healing Good Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I should have got more water. Uh... <laughs> hmm? An anime within an anime. This art style, though, I mean, <laughs> giving me all the Shonen Jump series. <laughs> this is basically of Haikyuu, JoJo, <laughs> and um, what was that one anime I reacted to? Like the very first animes that I did. Magical Girl. Keijo! There we go. Bam! If Keijo, Haikyuu, and Jojo Bizarre Adventure had an anime baby together, this little thing would be it. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's up, Lotto? Hmm? Oh, of course you do. Oh, hold on, we serious? We really doing this? This is gonna be like just a chill episode today. No villains, just volleyball being one with volleyball. <laughs> I don't think it will. I I still feel like you know, daughter or you know our other two are probably going to make an appearance in today's episode. Maybe who knows? I mean, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. See, now I'm just ready to see not only the movie for this series, well, really both, because I have to watch both, um, but also the next series. I, I just want to know who the VAs are going to be, because, I, you know, Aoi Yuki, you know, best character in this damn show, and whoever plays the next Pink Cure, you know, you got to... You gotta top that, cause I I don't know if anyone can top Aoi Yuki's. <laughs> I mean, there's been so many other VAs in this series, either who has played the Pink Cure or any other Cure, or you know the Final Cure. Like some of my best girls who have actually saved the damn show. I'm just saying, but who knows who will be that next one to fulfill the pink shoes. <laughs> Why should it be somebody I don't know? Because <laughs> I there's one Seiyu that I really want to be in this show. And someone who she's worked with played Cure Flora. If you've seen Attack on Titan, you probably know who I'm talking about. If you've seen Violet Evergarden, you know who I'm talking about.
and just like that. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna camp on the beach too, right? I mean, I'm not one with camping. Yeah, Monte wanted it. Oh, okay. <gasps> ah! So fucking cute, I can't, oh my god. Whoever it say you is, oh my god! I thought we were doing volleyball. Cosplaying. I'm crying. Oh my god. Yeah, I wanted to go swimming. ball just gave me flashbacks that every time I accidentally got hit with a ball and next to you know someone throws it and then I'm like oh god and they're like sorry and I'm like mm-hmm mm -hmm, it's okay it's all right I think the one that probably hurt the most was the basketball <laughs> What? <laughs> Me? You got it, you got it. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then use your fingertips to just like gently instead of doing like uh because if you do that, that's a foul. <laughs> Yeah. 
usually. Let me guess that's from the anime too. It had to be the damn palm tree. What did palm tree do to you? Like, nothing! <laughs> oh. Time out, guys! Really? Hmm? Uh oh! There you go! You tried, though. You did good, though. Oh, mm. <laughs> no, Umi, it's fine! <laughs> What's up? We go one different show where, yeah, Aoyuki's in and she wants to better herself and such and be as strong as the male guys. And then you got this show where you're just like, yes, I want to be better at volleyball. Oh. <laughs> Precious baby girl, we love her so much. I'm hungry. I think I'm going to eat after I'm done recording this and my next show. That or because I'm on a diet, I possibly have to go ahead and drink a protein shake. Yay. <laughs> uh, it's only day two and I still want to die. And then I also need to kind of work out. Should I walk in place for 30 minutes or an hour? I don't know. Oh, there we go. They <laughs> really want to.
Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> nice spike, though. This ain't a regular figure battle. This is a pretty gear volleyball battle. I can't. Oh, poor Grace. You got this. Mm hmm. And then. Mm. Mm. There you go. See, that's a spike. Apparently so. Nice try, though.
It's okay. Just work on your coaching better. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's up? Okay, so for, uh, do we call this a filler episode or something? I don't know. But for an episode that really wasn't a main story focus, I think this was the best episode. I think this is now one of my personal fave episodes for this show besides the main story. Honestly, it was really good. I mean, <laughs> it was a very chill episode. Probably the chillest episode we've ever had for this show now. But it was cute and the love of volleyball. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but I do like the fact is that they did show um, the two different types of coaching. Coaching The traditional where, yes, it's usually a coach yelling at their players and then the ones where they're more calm and gentle because that is more the modern age because I remember being in middle school and playing, ba not even middle school, between middle school and elementary school and having a coach had always pissed me the fuck off and every single time I had two different coaches. One who was super, super nice and only if we really messed up maybe they would yell but then the other one who we got later on did not like him and um i'm a type of person that if you have a problem with me or a problem about something that i did it's better for in my opinion for you to just come up and tell me and not to have someone else tell me <laughs> As I was saying, um, because this also happened in high school with a friend. So typically, I I'd rather someone come to me and tell me what the problem is instead of going through someone and having that someone kind of tell me. And that's essentially what um my coach did. My coach went to my parents and my parents told me. Now, I didn't confront him. I was like, let me be the bigger person and not kind of say anything to him and such. But me and him, we didn't have the best relationship by the end. And by the time I did finish basketball for like almost a year, maybe two years and such. And so that kind of almost went with the same thing with me and my friend because one of my friends felt a certain type of way and so what they wanted to do instead of confronting me and telling me head on they went <laughs> one of my friends who had a class with me and told me head on and I was like oh my god I was like what is this is this preschool or uh, uh, is that what this is we're in high school and we're doing some preschool elementary middle school bs and you can't come and make like be a woman enough to come and talk to me and say, here, this is my little problem, da, 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 because, you know, we could have handled it like adults or, you know, young adults, but because you didn't want to, I mean, mm. but like I said, you know, if you ever get in that situation, you know, be better than that. Be the big one and just, you know, walk away from it and hold your hand, held, held, hold your head up high and be the better freaking person. Don't be, you know that bitch or that asshole but this episode was good it was really really good i mean it was a very nice filler-esque episode i love the volleyball aesthetic of it i mean honestly yes it felt like i was watching like IQ or any other sports anime in a nutshell where it is very um extravagant and such not to say that all sports animes are like that but there are some that are, are that are and they're really good that's why i really love sports animes because 
at first, like, I, I was a person who was iffy on sports anime because I'm like, sometimes you're seeing the same thing over and over again, but they find new ways because that was something like Keijo, and Keijo was one of the, like, completely different animes about sports, um, that I had seen, but Keijo was not only sports, but it was also fan service for guys and me as a straight female watching it. I was like, okay, but when it's, you know, something like free, <laughs> When it is free, I mean, that's a completely different story. <laughs> it's like, yes, we want them to swim, but at the same time, we just want them to just like, oh, it's, nah. <sighs> that's why sometimes I can't watch free with a straight face because I fangirl way too much on that show. But yeah, today's episode was a really good episode, probably one of the best. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 35 of Healing Good Pretty Hair. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 36. Bye!